Hello everyone, this is I am Unicron. Here today to do a quick review of uh, Transformers G1 Warpath Minibot. Um, he's one of the little basic figures from the G1 Transformers. And let me get his bio card here so you can go ahead and read it. <clears throat> um, but anyway that is Warpath and this is an original one not a reproduction um, spec sheet spec card so as you can see back in the days he was um, three dollars and seventy nine cents <laughs> so how much he was new anyway that's his tech spec and as with all G1 minibots um, he has a fairly simple transformation, nothing really complicated by any means. Let's start off by sliding it back, opening up the body, and then you just kind of stand them up, flip this, this part back, stand them up, slide the, the head back, the tank turret back part, kind of locks in a little bit. And flip his head up, flip his arms up, and there you go. And you have a Generation 1 Warpath. Not a whole lot to look at, but that's what he is. At least he can turn his head more than most of the other G1 Minibots. <laughs> So, uh, which is pretty cool. I um, just want to throw one thing out here. I need to do this to mine too, but you see the turret how it becomes a little bit loose. Just take your little Phillips screwdriver in that hole and tighten it up slightly, and it'll retighten. And I do it every now and then to mine because it, it'll come loose on its own again. And uh, other than that, he's just a little. A little bitty tank, real simple transformer here. Um, matter of fact, <clears throat> let me stand him up next to his Generations counterpart, which is a Deluxe Class Transformer. Now, as you can see, he is a lot larger. But at the same time, I will say that Generations Deluxe Class is just a beautiful beautiful transformer and I love how he has the little wheels on there so you can kind of make him roll around like the original G1 did they stay pretty faithful to his look especially in his head and this his whole basic design and everything pretty cool pretty cool little transformer if you don't have him pick him up if you don't have the G1 I'd say get him also he's a really cool transformer to own um, he's a great addition to anyone's G1 collection. Just make sure he is complete because I've seen a bunch of them where the tank turret is missing. Has been broken off. Um, but anyway, if you can get them anywhere, $10, $15 at the most with tech spec, I would pay. Wouldn't pay any more than 15 with maybe like two, three bucks shipping for them. For one in, in really good condition. Um, and there you go. Any questions, comments, please feel free to ask. Thanks for your time.